Hey guys, so the Galaxy Watch Active 2 has got an update which has some really exciting and interesting features. I have the change log here. We've got the new improved fault detection feature that you normally find in some high end watches like the Apple Watch and also new watch faces and some other stuff. So let's go through some important stuff. So guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and like this video. Let's begin. So I've already updated the watch and you can see all the software details and this is the Indian variant. Now let's talk about the new watch faces. These have that latest Galaxy Watch Active 4 vibe. I mean you can see a couple of these, the yellow one and the green one and you cannot really customize this but uh, I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do. So you do have some new watch faces in almost all the categories. I personally like the look of this, this gives you that latest galaxy watch 4 look and if you tap on the edges or just swipe like this you will see that it can change colors this is very interesting but you cannot customize this any further also i like this watch face and again it looks pretty cool you can also change the colors just like we did so yeah it is customizable to some extent but not much now moving to the fault detection you will find this in the wearable app go into the watch settings and advanced here at the bottom you'll find the SOS settings here you need to set this up so first up make sure you read this message it can give you the false positives in certain scenarios so you need to set up the sensitivity right also you need to set up a contact to push notifications like message or calls whatever you choose to so let's start setting this up once you enable this you get this warning message that you need to agree to to share your location etc so you just need to add an emergency contact in case of any fault detection it will be notified to that number you can also choose to enable call notification if sms is not enough so this is how my setup looks i have enabled both the sms and calls for the sos message the most important thing is setting up the sensitivity so i initially enabled the high sensitivity and tried simulating a fall on a bed safely of course but it did not trigger any fault detection message what this could mean is it's either working really well or it's not working at all so i personally would enable the high efficiency initially until i get any false positives or false fault detection messages only then i'll turn it off particularly when i'm using this on let's say some older people who are more susceptible to those kind of things also guys make sure you have the location enabled on your watch additionally I have also installed the here maps although it is not part of the instructions from the samsung which i'll link it below and also definitely share your experience uh, whether you have been able to trigger the fault detection comment down below also make sure you like this video thanks for watching guys that's been it i'll see you soon